شمت بابا و برو نورو خود خود شبا بن بشمه یا پاشم خود ششم و خطیه ملکیو تو خبر الزای و داخل بشمه یا برا هلا نخمه سون قانن قدیمی و ما شوخ مخطیات نداخل تو بخنه شوخ مندانی بخطیرون الله لا شوخ طور خل جراب الله باسل هم بیشه سبب دیو خیلی ملکیو تا خیلی و تشبخت العالم علمین آمین هیمانو تا بشمه تا بشمه تا لیه بزمه تا لیه May the Lord bless you all. Welcome back. Um, last week we spoke about... It's okay. Uh, last week we spoke about your kingdom come. Atia Melkuto. Oh, Humzimlan in details. And we were still talking about it so we can finish... Uh, we can finish this petition and go to the next one. And we talked about the name, uh, hallowed be uh, your name, and we spoke about the name of Jesus Christ, and we said, why was he called Emmanuel in the Old, but then in the New Testament we called him Jesus? Because we said in Isaiah 7, 14, uh, the angel of God said, you are gonna conceive a, a, a virgin will conceive a child and she will give birth to a boy. He will be called Emmanuel, which means God is with us. Amman El. Amman El. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And then, but we said again, it was called Jesus when the, the angel of God came to Virgin Mary. He told her that. You will call him Jesus. So, my uncle Modi, you detect a mere shemetawe manual, you detect a tawe isho, saba por mi walan, because you'll never find the name Emmanuel in any of the Old Testament in in the in uh, in the Jewish uh, heritage. They don't have the name, the name um, the name Emmanuel. So that is why. Uh, we said that name Emmanuel is one of his deity, one of his description, just like he's almighty. That that just just like he is he, he is the almighty and he is the merciful, he is the powerful, he is the wonderful, and all that. So that's what Emmanuel falls into. Kamada Emmanuel men dani amman alaha. And then it shows us that God was never with man on earth. For the first time, he's going to walk with man on earth. So the name Jesus means the same. So that's why, Miran. So that was when we ended with that. Uh, with hallowed be your name, and then we, we decided, we talked about the, the kingdom, your kingdom come, and we said, when, when is the kingdom coming? And why, what does it mean when we say your kingdom come? So why did we say your kingdom come? And what does it mean? It was very simple fact that we all what we're really saying and we're reminding ourselves of, of Revelation 21, 5 through 7 and Revelation actually 21, 1 through 4 and then through 7. So what we're saying here, So just by saying your kingdom come, this is the picture we're drawing for ourselves. So it's not just a matter of saying the prayer, you have to picture the prayer. The same thing with the name, and we saw we show the name that there is no any other name given to man except the name of Jesus Christ. No name is given to man either in heaven or on earth or in the in the bottom of the earth except for one name, and that's Jesus Christ. So if anybody give you another name, you can't believe in them. People make their own their own gods and they give them names. So Kabudhadah Alaha. He emphasized on 
The only name I will be giving you is Jesus. And that's the only name that every knee will kneel and every tongue will confess that he is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords for the glory of the Father. Yeah? And we spoke about that previously. So you guys can go to the videos and then we talked about Revelation 21, 5 through 7. And then we talked about uh, Revelation 22, 4 through 5 because this is really um, where uh, we can see his name uh, shall be on their foreheads. It means always going to be on their minds. He always going to be facing them. He is always going to be in front of us. When? Because then we're going to be living with him. Then we're going to be face to face. Because he's going to come down and live with us. He's going to come down and he's going to live with us. And uh, we all know that, that, uh, that when he comes down, you see, we, we're going to see new Jerusalem, but we're going to see new earth and all that which we spoke about. We'll talk about that later as well. As we see, this is what's important because we're going to repeat this, that behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. He's no longer in heaven. So, so that is the day when we say your kingdom come. This is the day we picture when we say your kingdom come. That his tabernacle will be with us. It means his home will be here with us. He will, he will be living with us. So just by saying your kingdom come, that is what we're asking for. Exactly. So we're going to come back to this, uh, to, 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 to these slides later on uh, as, we, as we go to the next petition, which is uh, God's will. Okay? All right. So we're going to continue here. We'll go from where we left, and we left from, you said Luke 17? Did we read that? Yeah, we did read that, right? Yeah. Yeah, because the Pharisees asked Jesus Christ, let's just go over it. Pharisees, and Jesus said, you don't look for the kingdom because the kingdom is within you. But this within you, we said the translation is, is really changed. The, the idea is supposed to be among you, because Jesus was then there. So in, in the Greek language, it's among you. He is among us. So Jesus was, so Jesus is among us. If two or three meeting in my name, I am among you, right? So that is the kingdom, okay? That is the kingdom. So that's why Jesus, but then Jesus told us to ask for the kingdom first, right? Very well. Okay, so then we're going to talk about, for us now we understand that the kingdom is now here. A lot of people say the kingdom is here now. How do you feel about that? Do you feel that the kingdom is here? Uh, no, it's not, no, no, no. It's not here, right? So it's not here, right? So the kingdom is not here. But how do you feel? Do you feel that the kingdom is within you? Do you feel like you feel the kingdom? Me. Isn't it that when you surrender to Jesus Christ your life, then you know that the kingdom is, is right at hand? And that's what he said too. He said the kingdom is near, the kingdom is at hand, you know? So, يعني مو إلا مرة يعني إيمان أخنان إيمان قبلك لمارن يوخلوك يعني قمارن يريشك قد ملكوتة إلى ليلة رخت من خم إلى إلى قرب الراب. It's just a matter of time for us physically so to enjoy it because right now we're enjoying it with spiritually, but then we're gonna enjoy it physically. That's the idea because the enjoyment that we have. The Christians have the enjoyment that we have. A lot of the people that, that didn't accept Jesus, they don't understand. Nashe le masa parmiya la khadutan. Khadutan ila sabab akhnan hadiya now, hadiya gawan eaten malkuta, irash of malkuta, kat ila kurba, sabab i khayikla buturucha, ina even tabit khayikla butpaga. So now we're living it by the soul, but then we're gonna live it by the flesh. Right now, right now, we're living it only by the soul. We're living the kingdom by the soul. We only know it by the soul. And that's what St. Paul is going to try to tell us as well, that you know what? 
Now it's like we're looking in a mirror in darkness. It's only a shadow. But then we're going to be face to face, right? So that's why Modi mere mere polis mere mere mar polis mere hadia bakhaye wa go go planita go planita go bakhaye gunora go khishka in the elanta betaf pata go pata and that's when we are face to face that is when we're going to feel that kingdom that's why it says there will be no tears no death no pain none of the things that are here so imagine if you're living on this earth and all your Facebook, all the media, everything is about good news. All is about uh, good life. All is about prosperity. All is about this love. That's the bottom line, right? You see? That's why the, uh, when they say news, just turn it off because there is no good news. And if there is, they won't tell you because then that's not news for them. See? For them, news is when someone gets hurt. That's news, see? Yep. But for us, news is when all that is over. See? For us, news is when all that is over. Ahnan qadiyan khaburin tattabbe basime ina iman parqa kulli parqa wa khisha. Qad iman patkhinna Facebook di kul min dit machkhinna yawe hawe basit khubba wa shlama wa basimuta wa khayya basime wa kulla nashi khidye كل ناشي بخمالة كل ناشي صاخ وصلامة no more hospitals no more illness no imagine and that is the kingdom and that is what that's what we live for and that's what we hope for and that's why we need Jesus Christ in our lives more than ever because no any other person can give us that. And that's why he's the only way and the truth and the life. Okay, so we're going to talk about Lot a little bit. Everybody's aware of Lot, right? We all know Lot. Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot. Not lottery, Lot. I know you guys think about lottery. Don't think that way. It's Lot. A lot of letters are missing. Okay. So we go to Second Peter two eight through nine. Salapau nasha zabira gibechaye wa gawe biche wa jumjumra bruche zadikha yuma yuma yumane yumane from. نبي <تصفيق> زدي زدي مني اينا عوالي بيت خاميل كتبيش ديني هل يوما ديوان امين بس مجانا ما سبب هاو ناشا زديقة زديقة عد بخاية وجاوي read it in English for me please for the righteous man oh no wait hold us go for it for that righteous man dwelling among them tormented his righteous soul from day to day by seeing and hearing their lawless deeds. Then the Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust under punishment for the day of judgment. Amen. Great. What's amazing about Lot? Modiwa min diajbana He lived among sin continuously yet he lived by the word of God like it was just drowning him okay so he was living by he was living holy life so he was living among the world Salman Bukhaye Gudeya Dinye, Ubukhaye Chulmendi Kamenuch, 
Ubukhaya Rigawe is one thing. You know, he was the only, the only. You see, this is what's hard about this. People don't pay attention to this. The only righteous man in the whole city. The only righteous man. It's one thing that if there is another, uh, uh, you know, another 10,000 like you. But then when you're alone, see, it's like you are alone. You're living among the people that don't understand you. People that don't want to live your lifestyle. So what happened to Lot? What happened to him? The angels of God, Tilu Malache. The angels of God came so they can warn him, so he can leave the city, so the fire can burn the city down to ashes. Right? You know, until now, if you go, you're gonna, if you touch the, 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 the soil, it turns into black stuff until now. It's burned, yeah, it turns into ashes. It basically, it's ashes. Shayna Tawat, Shayna, Pakur, Pakhtu. Thank you. Tawat, Surah. Tawat, Surah? Oh, Surah. So, so there, so there, this is what happened. Um, if, if you go until now, you touch it, and it's, it's all, it turns into black ashes. Why? It's a sign from God. What did he do? It was all gays and lesbians. Why? When God sent, when God sent his angels to save Lot and his wife and his two daughters, what happened? The people in the city, they jumped his fence and they said, we want these two men. They came in a body of, uh, in a flesh of a man, those two angels. And he said to them, no, these are, my, these are my guests. I can't give them to you. They said, no, we want these two men because we want to make love to them. He said, no, I'll give you my two daughters. They're virgins. Just take my daughters. You can't touch my... How bad was it for him to live among these kind of people? How bad was that? That they're asking for the two angels of God, so because they were men, because they were dressed in men's flesh, okay? And they came to save the city, because angels usually are in men's looks, okay? So that is how it happened. So what did God, what did God say? They said to him, just go, Take your daughters, take your wife, and then they told his wife specifically, do not look behind you. That is very sad when God says that to you. It means you will look behind you. When God says that specifically that to a person, it means that person will look behind them. Every time you see that, Jesus specifically say to them, it means you will do it. I will say, but you will do it. And we saw that a lot of times in the Bible. So, so what did the angels do? They made the men blind so they can't see until Lot, he took his wife and his two daughters and they ran from the other door, right? And they weren't supposed to look behind them. But don't forget, Abraham is talking to God at this time. He's saying, why can't you save Sodom and Gomorrah? Can't we find even, what if I find you 50 people, 50 people that are righteous? God said, really, 50 people? Okay, Abraham, find me 50 people. Then he comes back to God, he said, how about if I find you 20 people? <laughs> how about if I find you 10 people? You know how many people came up? You know how many people came up? Five. Five? Lot, actually four. four Lot, yeah. his wife, four and daughters. his two daughters. Yes. Four. And even his wife had to look behind her, and she became three. A, a statue of a statue of a pillar of salt. Because she had to look behind her. Why? 
because she was worried about her family behind her. But God said, oh, no. So Moab of Donald Lut, 